<laughs> hello, hello again, everyone. This is Jan from New York City, and my channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. Hey, how's everybody doing on this Monday, Monday? I know, I know, I know. Yes, I definitely need a tall one. This time I think I'm going to have some tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little tea for me. You can have a little tea for you, a little coffee for you. Hope that your morning is going well. And of course, I hope if you're hearing this in the afternoon or in the evening, whatever time you're listening to this, I hope that your day is going well. You know, before I get into today's message, I have to laugh at, at sometimes listening to the news. It could be a little bit comical at times. You know, with all the bad news that you hear, sometimes it's a little kind of like ironic and comical. For example, we're expecting like kind of like record breaking, uh, record record raking listen to me record making <laughs> temperatures today and it's going to be like uh, up like possibly near 70 degrees but yeah you, you like you hear like the ironic news do this don't do that do this don't do that but it's going to be near 70 degrees <laughs> do this don't do that do this don't do that this bad thing happened that bit happened but it's going to be near 70 degrees <laughs> As if that balances out the world. Well, I don't know about the temperature balancing out the world, but I could tell you this on this Money Monday. This morning, we're going to talk about the pros of using a debit card. But this is one piece of plastic that I totally agree is necessary. And the truth be told, you actually do not need more than two. There's really no need to have more than two. Just saying. Now, here are some of the pros, okay? Number one, you don't have to carry a thick wad of cash with you. For obvious reasons, it's never a great idea to carry tons of cash on your person. It's just logically not the wisest thing to do. One, you can lose it, remember? Hmm, let's think about that. All right, now with a debit card, your spending is kind of sort of going to be limited to what's actually in your checking account and not to mention that you're not going to get any interest charged to your account every single month. So that's a really, really good thing to know. Okay, you're limited. It's within your budget. It's what you can work with. Next, and I think this is very important, and it's a good thing. You can easily track your spending. By keeping track of your spending, you can easily identify any pluses or any minuses going on in your spending habits because sometimes our spending habits are very unconscious we just like we just do them because we do them we're busy people and we're not like mentally memorizing every little thing although i know some people that do and god bless you but not everyone does that okay but this way it's possible to know what might be preventing you from future savings goals by being able to identify the triggers. For example, if you didn't realize that X number of dollars should not be coming out of that account because you didn't realize just how much you spend each and every month. For example, let's just say on eating out or on buying that daily cup of joe or whatever. By using your debit card, you have this knowledge. You have it at hand. You can easily track it. And by being able to track your approach, this is the best way you can fix your future, okay? So therefore, I am very, very pro, pro debit card. Just, you know, like I said, you know, use it wisely too, and that's it. I mean, there are also cons, cons to using a debit card, and we could talk about that on a future Money Monday show, okay? Now listen, we talk a lot about money, but here's the thing, and I want to leave you with this thought today. Money is replaceable. People are not. Money is a tool. People are not. Never, ever, ever forget that. So in your dealings, in your daily life every day, while we know money is a very important tool and you can't live in this world without it, no matter where you go, no matter where you are, you have to have money to use as a tool. But people are not, and people cannot be replaced. And that's my short and sweet message for Money Monday. Listen, I'm going to leave you off with some music. 
But in the meantime, this has been Jan from New York City. Thank you so much for listening because I really do appreciate your time. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for some really interesting practical video shows because tomorrow is the Tuesday practical video show day. Hey, don't forget to share this video as much as possible because I really do appreciate that as well. You have an amazing amazing day, guys. I think I need a little more than tea today because I'm tongue-twisting all day. Listen, you have a great day.